Hey guys, I just got to uh, the Ren's Pent Sale in Pent Sale. That's Pent Sale. <laughs> Well, we're back at the arena again. I guess we're suckers for punishment. We are working on the puppies, the Border Collie puppies. And by puppies, I mean three years old, but they're sort of puppies still. Today's uh, mission is to work on tunnels. Uh, both of these dogs <laughs> are really obsessed with tunnels, and I don't mean in a good way. So that's, uh, that's the focus for this morning's uh, training session. So far, so good. I think the dogs like this topic. just marveling at the fact that the uh, Border Collies, Rat and Grin, are actually lying down on our walk. So <laughs> it's not a normal occurrence, I think, that our little agility session this morning was challenging. And I actually think what was challenging about it is it was really mental for them. Absolutely. We didn't really run them that much, to be honest with you, but uh, we did some things that were... Made them think. Yeah, made them think for sure. Yeah, it was good. I wouldn't say it was as successful as it was yesterday, but I think it was more like productive. Breaking things down a bit more. Yeah, it was good. We feel better actually after today than yesterday, which is always a good thing. Any good tent sale begins with a bouncy castle. Hey guys, I just got to, to the Wren's Pet Tent Sale. I just say that slowly because it's uh, quite a mouthful for it's me like apparently. Loose, loose, leash. loose, loose, loose leash. Leash. Uh, Anyways, we're here in Waterdown and uh, it's pretty happening today, which is awesome. We are here uh, at the McCann booth. I'm here with instructor Steve. What's happening guys? And uh, we're just talking to a lot of the locals today about uh, dog training tips and and suggestions and about classes and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we've met a lot of uh, a lot of people already. Actually, I've only been here for about maybe 10 minutes, and uh, already have, we've had a, a couple conversations. So we're enjoying the beautiful weather, and uh, I brought the pup, pup, pup. There she is. Thought I would do a little bit of socialization with her, and uh, yeah. We're having, we're having some fun though. We're seeing lots of our students, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I've seen a few. Seeing them uh, using all the skills we've taught them. Yeah. Like, I do like seeing that. Steve and I want to make a funny video of pet peeves that dog trainers have for pet owners. Yeah. But we're not sure if people will think it's funny. There's a lot of misinformation about a lot of things and a lot of patchwork that people put together. I like the cobbling, the MacGyvering of training aids. Yes, this is true. <laughs> or the token, sit down, sit down. Sit, sit down. down. Like, is it sit, sit or is it down? Is it down? Or is know. it sit then down? It's like jumbo shrimp. See, you we're, don't know. we're confused. It's so so is your dog. Are you the gastro or the host? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, we're having fun. Right. What is four minus three? <laughs> yes, good girl. Okay, here's a tough one. What is the square root of nine? <laughs> <laughs> yes, good girl. How does she know that?
So if I was going to pick one item that was like my biggest weakness, it would be this one. Dog beds. I don't even want to tell you how many dog beds we have in our house. But, uh, you know, you can never have too many. One in every room. The dog's got to be comfortable. They really prefer the donut beds, too. The more circular, the better. That was fun. I am going to finish up now. I just grabbed myself a pita from Pita Pit. So good. And now I'm going to head home. Uh, Ken and Mac have a herding lesson. And uh, whenever I'm home on the weekends, I try to go to them as much as possible. So I'm going to get home, hopefully get there in time to go with them. Uh, maybe take uh, B along and let her uh, stare at the sheep. It'll be good. We are on our way to Ken's herding uh, lesson with Mr. Mac. And uh, Ken just came up with a pretty bright idea since we were bringing um, B already. Yeah, I think we should split the herding lesson between Beeline and Mac, or at least give Mac a break in between, and maybe we can do an instinct test with Bee, or at least put her on some sheep and see what she thinks. Yeah, I've taken her before, and she's just sort of laid with me and watched the sheep. She seems interested in the sheep, but she hasn't um, actually been let loose yet. Yeah. It's, so uh, it hopefully will Vicky will be into that. gets a bit of a break and Beeline gets to uh, experience some sheep or meet some sheep. So this should be cool. How do you think it's going to go? The question is, how do you think it's going to go? I think it's going to be good. He doesn't get it. You're the herding guy. I don't know what I'm doing. So oh. you're going to have to do it. Okay, well, uh, I will go take Beeline for Except her first herding Except I just want lesson. you to know this doesn't mean that she gets to she turns, she goes out there and slays it. Yeah. Because she might. Because she's just awesome. Yeah, yeah that uh, she still has to be my number one. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see how she is. We're looking forward she to it. She probably isn't gonna say it, but. Well, that was pretty exciting. I, I was pretty impressed. Yeah, I think she did a pretty, uh, pretty great job. At first, you could tell she was a little unsure what or what was she she was supposed to be doing. Yeah. But um, after a while, she started uh, flanking the uh, sheep. It looks like she was having a lot of fun out there. She even ate a little bit of sheep poo. Yeah, she did even eat a little bit of sheep poo. Luckily, um, I will be able to bring her for all of my lessons with Mac then. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll have to see if we can. <laughs> part ways for that long <laughs> although honestly i would i think it would be good for her um and i like my dogs to be able to do lots of different things she just doesn't yeah. need to be a solely agility dog she needs to learn other things as well so yeah, for sure i think i could i could manage that beeline had a pretty big day today mac had lots of fun at his herding lesson kale got out to do some uh ch check out the wren's tent sale which looked pretty cool and i think beeline may have a future as a herding dog you wouldn't know it right now because she's such a sucky little thing but I, I feel like she has a future in a couch potato. She could definitely be. She'd be an expert snuggler if that were a job or some <laughs> kind of task. Maybe they require some sort of service animal that just snuggles somebody all the time. Um, if this is your guys' first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll post a link to our uh, vlogs playlist in the description so you can check out another episode. <laughs> but on that note, bef before uh, Beeline falls off the couch, I, I want to wish you guys a good night. And thanks for watching. <laughs>